These Semantic Safety V13 Getting Started Instructions will guide you step-by-step -step through a specific example for configuring and programming with Step 7 Safety Advanced V13. You will become acquainted with the basic functions and special features of Step 7 Safety Advanced V13. In order to understand these Getting Started Instructions, you need general knowledge of automation engineering. You also need to be familiar with Step 7 Professional V13. Follow the links on the right to find more information about industrial security, as well as the manual Somatic Safety, Configuration and Programming. Tree to the production area is monitored with a laser scanner. The service area is secured by a safety door. Entering the production area or opening the safety door results in a stop or shutdown of the production cell similar to an emergency stop. The system can only be started when the emergency stop is cancelled, the safety door is closed, and the laser scanner detects no one in the protected area. On-site user acknowledgement is required to restart production after the emergency stop has been activated, the safety door has been opened, or the protected area has reacted. Here you can see the FCPU with the interface module on Profinet I.O. Here you can see the wiring of the emergency stop, laser scanner, and the safety door contacts with the FDI. The laser scanner is powered via an external sensor supply. Here you can see the wiring of the drive, feedback loop, start, and user acknowledgement with the FDQ and FDI. Here you can see the rough procedure for setting the hardware configuration. This will be explained in more detail in the following eight steps. Left click on Create New Project. Change the name. You can also change the storage path here if necessary. The project is created with Create. Add a CPU 1516F-3 PNDP in the Device and Networks portal with Add New Device. In the Properties tab of the FCPU, switch to the Failsafe area. Here, you can change the following parameters or apply the default setting. Leave the default values unchanged for this example. In the Project view, click on the Network View tab. In the Hardware catalog, Enter IM155-6PN in the search field and start the search with the Enter key. In the search results, click an interface module with article number 6ES7155-6AU00-0BN0. In the Information pane, Select the firmware version that matches the interface module from the drop-down list. Drag the interface module with article number 6ES7155-6AU00-0BN0 from the catalog pane to the graphic area of the network view. Hold down the mouse button and drag a Profinet connection from the Profinet interface of the IM155-6PNST onto the green Profinet interface of the FCPU on the right.
In the graphic area of the network view, double-click on the IM155-6PNST. In the device view of the ET200SP, add an FDI 8x24 VDC HF failsafe digital input module by dragging it from the hardware catalog to slot 1. Select the DI parameter area in the Properties tab. Disable the short circuit test parameter of the sensor supply for channels 2 and 6. In this example, a two-channel emergency stop is to be connected to channels 0 and 4. Make the settings for this under Channel Parameter as shown here. The equivalent 1 out of 2 evaluation then takes place in the F module. In this example, the position switches for monitoring a two-channel safety door will be connected to channels 1 and 5. Make the settings shown for this under Channel Parameter. In this example, the laser scanner for monitoring the accessible entry area is to be connected to channels 2 and 6. Make the settings for this under Channel Parameter, as shown here. Disable the unused DI channels 3 and 7 by clearing the Activated checkbox. In the device view of the ET200SP, add an FDQ 4x24 VDC-2A PMHF failsafe digital output module by dragging it from the hardware catalog to slot 2. Switch to the DO parameter area. Make the settings under Channel Parameter, as shown here. Disable the unused DQ channels 1, 2, and 3 by clearing the activated checkbox. In the device view of the ET200SP, add an FDI 8x24 VDC HF failsafe digital input module by dragging it from the hardware catalog to slot 3. Select the DI parameter area in the Properties tab. Disable the short circuit test of the sensor supply parameter for channels 3 and 7. In this example, a feedback circuit is to be connected at channel 0. Make the settings for this under Channel Parameter as shown. Disable channel 4 by clearing the activated checkbox. In this example, the user acknowledgement is to be connected to channel 1. Make the settings for this under Channel Parameter, as shown. Disable Channel 5 by clearing the activated checkbox. In this example, Start is to be connected to Channel 3. Make the settings for this under Channel Parameter, as shown. Disable Channel 7 by clearing the activated checkbox. Disable the unused DI channels 2 and 6 by clearing the activated checkbox. Add a server module by dragging it from the hardware catalog to slot 4.
Select the FCPU in the project tree. In the shortcut menu for the FCPU, select the hardware configuration via download to device. If an online connection to the FCPU does not yet exist, you're prompted to establish this connection. Click the Load button. The Load Results dialog is then displayed. Click the Finish button. Select the PNIE1 subnet in the network view. Select Assign Device Name from the shortcut menu. Select IO Device 1 for the ET200SP in the Profinet device name drop-down list. Select the type of online access and then click Refresh. Select the entry with the type ET200SP in the Accessible Devices in the Network table. You can use the Flash LED button to directly identify the device. Then click the Assign Name button. Select Assign F Destination Address from the shortcut menu of the ET200SP in the Network View. Under Identification, select the method for identifying the F modules. Identification by LED flashing is the default. During identification, the status LEDs of the F modules to be identified flash. If you cannot see the F modules directly, you can also identify them by the serial number of the interface module. The displayed serial number may be amended with a year number as compared to the serial number printed on the interface module. The serial numbers are nevertheless identical. In the Assign column, Select all the F modules to which you want to assign the F destination address. If you select the interface module in the Assign column, all F modules of the station are selected. Click the Identification button. Check whether the status LEDs for the F modules whose F destination address you want to assign are flashing green. If you identify using the serial number, Compare the displayed serial number to the serial number of the interface module. Confirm successfully identified F modules in the Confirm column of the table. Use the Assign F Destination Address button to assign the F destination addresses to the F modules. 
You must then confirm the Confirm Assignment dialog within 60 seconds.